Then I'm going to the book now. The book is called Machete Season. The killers in Rwanda speak. During that killing season, we rose earlier than usual to eat lots of meat. We went up to the soccer field at around 9 or 10. We would go off on the attack. Rule number one was to kill. There was no rule number two. It was an organization without complications. The judge told everyone, everyone there, that from then on, we were to do nothing but kill Tootsies. Well, we understood. That was a final plan. The killing of every Tootsie without exception. It was simply said, and it was simple to understand. There were some who asked if there were any priorities. The judge answered sternly. There is no need to ask how to begin. The only worthwhile plan is to start straight ahead into the bush and right now without hanging back behind any more questions. When you get right down to it, it is a gross exaggeration to say we organized ourselves. The killings began without much planning. The only regulation was to keep going till the end, maintain a satisfactory pace, spare no one, and loot what we found. It was impossible to screw up. And that's one of the craziest things about this book. Again, the book is called Machete Season. It's the killers in Rwanda speak. So this author, Jean Hetzfeld, he went into the prison where these people are now being kept to talk to them about what they did, and it's their own words. In the preface to the book, just to give you a little bit of background, ours is appallingly an age of genocide. But even so, what happened in Rwanda in the spring of 1994 stands out in several ways. In a tiny, landlocked African country smaller than the state of Maryland, some 800,000 people were hacked to death one by one by their neighbors. The women, men, and children who were slaughtered were of the same race and shared the same language, customs, and confession, they were Roman Catholic, as those who eagerly slaughtered them. 